Hi Leo, this is going to be your check-in reading during March, but timeless whenever you see it. Please do check your other signs, your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, and also Saturn, because Saturn is moving out of Aquarius, has moved into Pisces, and so there's a movement there. If you want to be extra, you can check where Pisces sits in your charts. Um, check the astrological week, there's elemental readings there, and seems and themes. They're mainly channeled energy and they're there for your spiritual growth and alignment along with the energies of the universe as opposed to tarot. So they're very different, but they're very good because there, there might be triggers and themes that come up for you. Um, every couple of days there's readings and there's always shorts on the channel, whether it's individual or your elemental readings. That being said, let's kick into your reading and see what we've got. Current energy for Leo, please. Mind if I just have a sip of my water from doing readings and energy healing clients and coaching. So sometimes um, it's back to back, and yeah, what I'm trying to say is I could have had a sip before I started a reading, but I totally forgot until I started feeling thirsty in that first moment. Okay, current energy, page of pentacles, three of swords, interesting. So um, what I'm getting off the back of this is obviously there is a, um, there is something that's weighing heavy on your heart and I wonder if it's to do with the delivery of um, some form of abundance, stability, home, something that's taking its time to come in, some sort of message or something that you're waiting on um like you're waiting for the next wave or some something is coming that you're waiting on and maybe that's causing this grief and upset um clarification for the three of swords like you're waiting on an opportunity basically temperance sagittarius energy here um yeah temperance does say that you need to be patient and maybe and i feel like it is you know the heart sort of what's hurting or laying heavy on your heart is the patience of you needing to wait on what you're waiting on um there's been a death to something has this been the end of a job um something has ended and you are asked to um you're asked to stay grounded heal you are protected at this time I feel like it might be to do with your abundance of job. Maybe you went for a job interview and there was heavy competition. Maybe that's you've not had good news around that. Or um, something's really been weighing you down quite heavily. I'm feeling, you know, you may have tried already to not prevail, but this time you're not letting it pass you by, I feel. You're manifesting a new beginning in all areas of your life. That's what you really need to know. But with this Seven of Cups, what I really want you to know is that make sure what you're wishing upon is tangible. Sometimes this can be, I feel it can be a bit superficial, but it is coming to fruition. Um, it's not the Ten of Cups, but things are coming through. Look, there's multiple things that this person's trying to manifest there. You're wanting to start all over again, possibly, especially if you're feeling like this and we've had the Death card. With the death card, the the sword, the uh, ten of swords, and you've got like the temperance here, but you're definitely waiting on something to come in that's taken its time and that's caused a bit of this. Um, there's a tearing down to rebuild it all, and I think you know that. Uh, to start, you probably start it, restarting. Um, as many times as you need fit to get it right really if this is something you've been working on um, there could be yeah, I was going to say there could be a partnership or a love connection that's going to be deepening um, this work you've put in towards your manifestations whatever it is is going to be paying off um, you do need to look at your intuition and go introspection a bit like temper be patient flow a little bit but look manifestations coming through it's a significant time and um 
I think there's an, also a need for you to make sure that you're taking care of your body. Um, if, if you feel like, you know, you've got any aches or pains, make sure that you are paying attention to your body and taking care of your body, taking rest if you need rest. Regardless, the message is, is to stay lo locked in, stay focused and remember your why, because look at this, look what's coming in for you. Um, so it's, there's a very strong energy here for you. Um, your blessings are is also showing up in disguise, similar a little bit to Gemini's message. And God wants you to know and understand that a harsh truth is better than, you know, superficial, swaffly things where you don't know if it's a lie or it's in general. And you'll find yourself dealing with this pain. But look, you're coming out. And I feel there is love here for you. There's definitely stability and a going forward. Look out for 11-11. It's going to be significant for you. You'll find yourself um, moving from this heartbreak, this situation, this separation, and moving towards your growth and towards embracing people, the new energy, wish fulfillment of your um, trans, you know, what you've been manifesting, positive energy, pure intentions. I mean, look at these in comparison to the other cards. You'll, um, there's going to be something unexpected that does come in. Like I said, you could be attracting, if you're single, it could be attracting love. If not, you're deepening that connection. And it could be someone who's really, really good and logic with, um, with their words and intellect. Um, they could be a bit guarded in terms of their emotions. If it's love that we're talking about, the person is very good looking, charismatic and um, is going to come in but there's also a gift here of your manifestations coming to fruition um but what you have had is a big reality check definitely going to, which which might have triggered the change in your life but look at it i mean it's amazing if this has happened the knight of swords fast communication is coming in i just want to check something on the other uh, other spread and see what it looks like Sometimes there's additional sort of pictures that might give me an indication beyond or what I'm channeling because it's all coming through. But there's definitely new beginnings, you know, there's new beginnings, there's um, uh, potential. Follow your instincts and start this new cycle. Don't look back because the cards that were in the past, look, don't look back. They're moving on. Change is needed. This change is needed. Exactly what I was saying. Uh, trust the process, trust divine timing. You're going to probably have options, whether it's to do with your abundance or love. Um, things will fall into place. You have to stay patient and detach from the outcomes right now. Look at all these brilliant positive cards. The Knight of Wands also, very creative energy coming in. Hot, hot. Um, when I say hot, I mean like direct, um, I mean like adventurous, direct uh, energy, but I also feel with this, it's telling you to have this sort of energy going after what you want the knight of wands and the knight of swords believing in what you want in having the enthusiasm having the confidence to go after it and go after it with full force and in your divine power i'm really feeling that um there's a need to be realistic here with the cards and i think you are many of you are trying to escape Maybe this is what's weighing heavy on your heart with these cards, but don't escape it because time, um, with the healing, time, the outcome will change. But if you're escaping it and lacking accountability, hoping time will change it, it's not going to work. You're going to get to all these beautiful cards if you take accountability, take the time to heal, acknowledge it, learn the lessons, and you will get... You will get through. Um, let's 
anxiety I pulled to this card. Some of you might be feeling a bit of anxiety, so this is normal with this, but once you heal it and know that now you're moving into this direction, you're going to be fine. And look, the world card, you're closing out a cycle and you're starting a new journey for yourself. Beautiful. Um, I do have an affirmation for you that I channeled at the beginning of the reading, which is ease and beauty surround me wherever i go ease and beauty surround me wherever i go how beautiful is that affirmation that came through for you leo let's get you a spirit animal card snow leopard self-reliance you are strong independent and often solitary integrity is important for you for your best outcome. Cloak yourself in invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition, let your life unfold in silent perfection. It's a beautiful message there. Okay, let's get you a, I like to call these like soul messages. Let's see what we get through for you. Leo, I definitely feel that you need to do some settling in. I think what's going to help you make you feel better is actually just a couple of deep breaths connecting to your heart. That's just had to come to me. Right, what am I looking for outside myself that's already within me? One of the other readings, it might have even been... Tor was it Gemini or Taurus got this card? Are you looking for more confidence, guidance, peace, wisdom or love or something else? We search outside ourselves, we've become overwhelmed and frustrated, but you can go within to find everything you seek. All you the answers you need lie within you. So like I said, I would also do some breathing. It doesn't have to be half an hour of breath work. Just some, some breathing, connecting to your heart, connecting to yourself. It's going to make you feel better and you will also get any answers you need in terms of clarity because, you know, you're in the midst of moving into a new direction, which is absolutely amazing. But maybe sometimes, you know, we pulled up the anxiety card, Spirit, you know, guided me to pull that card. Um, and so some of you are having anxiety at this moment in time. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Give me a like. Let me know if you did. And I'll see you in your next reading, Leo. Take care for now.